This tutorial was developed to provide you with the step-by-step -step instructions you'll need to successfully incorporate the Elkometer 456 top dry film thickness gauge into your daily activities. We'll take you through the initial gauge setup, help you set limits, and familiarize you with the 456's audible alarms. Before we begin, Please take a moment to familiarize yourself with the buttons and icons you'll encounter as you successfully navigate this tutorial. If you should need assistance with any of these buttons as you work, placing your mouse directly over the button will reveal its purpose. While this presentation focuses on gauge setup, three other tutorials are available covering 1. Gauge calibration, verification and adjustment, 2. Batching and 3. Using the Elkometer 456 top with Elkomaster. Please contact your sales representative if you wish to view these as part of your introduction to the many features of the Elkometer 456 top. In this section, we'll walk you through the overall structure of the 456 top and discuss its layout. We'll discuss topics such as the initial setup of your gauge and provide you with some helpful suggestions with regards to maneuvering through the various screens and menu options available with this model. This discussion will better prepare you to set up batches on your meter, choose your reading units, and set reading limits. Let's take a moment to review the features of the 456 top. When you first power on your gauge, the display will contain five different symbols or words, you'll see the battery status indicator in the upper right hand corner. Directly to its left a probe symbol will appear, in this instance the gauge has been equipped with an F1PINIP probe. The substrate type appears directly beneath. Below this, we see the calibration method. The gauge is currently set for smooth and the unit selected for your readings appear directly underneath that. Before we continue, let's make sure that the extended menu is selected on the gauge you're using. Press the soft key located on the far right hand side of your gauge. Your screen should now look like this. Use the up or down arrows to locate the extended menu option and place a tick mark in the box by pressing the select key. Once you've done that, press the soft key under the word back to return to the display. As we proceed through this tutorial, you'll notice that each of the menus we encounter contains both a select option on the right hand side of the display and a back option on the left hand side. If you should wish to cancel the option you were looking for, or, if you simply want or need to return to the main display, Press the soft key located directly beneath the back option at any time. If extended menu has been activated, your display should now look like this. The options data and stats should be available along the bottom of your display, between cowl and menu. Extended menu has now given us access to the 456's data, statistics and calibration menus, as well as the main menu selections we've discussed. In this section we'll discuss your gauge setup, including units, reading limits, and audible alarms. Selecting the appropriate units for your gauge readings can be done in four simple steps. Step 1, select menu from your LCD display. Step 2, select setup. Step 3. Arrow down to the Units option and press the soft key located directly beneath the Select option. Use the arrow keys to locate the type of units you require for this batch and select the soft key beneath OK. Remember that the 456 top is equipped with an audible alarm which will notify you if a reading should fall outside your limit range. The first step in defining your reading limits is selecting the data option from your main LCD display. Arrow down to set limits and press the select soft key. 
Let's start with the lower reading boundary first. Arrow down to lower, and press the select soft key. Use the up or down arrows to reach the value you need and press OK. To set your upper limit, repeat the process by returning to the set limits function on your data menu. Select upper and use the arrow keys to define your outer reading limit. Once the readings limits are set, make sure that the limits on option is also selected. A tick mark should appear once it's chosen. The Elcometer 456 TOPS audible alarms are now activated for your readings range. The Elcometer 456 TOP provides audible signals to let you know each time a reading is accepted by the gauge. A triple beep signal is also provided to notify you if any of your readings fall outside of your specified reading range. This beep volume may be adjusted from the setup menu, if necessary. In this tutorial, we've reviewed the successful operation of the Elcometer 456 top dry film thickness gauge. We welcome your comments and suggestions regarding this presentation and encourage you to voice your opinions by emailing sales at elcometerusa.com or by contacting your local sales representative or distributor directly.